Welcome, everybody. Uh, today we are going to be learning how to take an ordinary gamepad and using it for Minecraft. Uh, I am using a cracked version of Minecraft because when Mojang made this thing where they took all your accounts and put it onto a Mo Mojang account, my account got locked because for some reason I couldn't log into it and uh, the email I signed up for it was a hotmail and hotmail's a piece of shit and I can't log into it anymore so anyhow you're gonna need this program I'm gonna put a link in the description go into the description if you need the link uh, it's called xpatter basically what you have to do I'll leave this image here you need it you launch xpatter however you pronounce it uh, yeah if it doesn't launch for you you just need to go here to properties um, compatibility and run it in Windows XP service pack 3 or just yeah okay you run it plug into your gamepad uh, this is a layout I made previously I'm gonna run you through how to do all of this uh, you're gonna need this image which is gonna be in the description then you press image open find the image open it yari yari okay then next no Okay, uh, so now plug your controller into the USB port or whatever you have. Then go here, enable the image, open, open the image. This image appears. This is just for references, uh, you can do it without it, but I tried it and it got a bit confusing and it's nice to drive it like this. So, first of all, you enable the image. We have enabled the image. Then you press sticks, uh, enable. Then you're gonna get this circle, and this is the stick number one, which is from the left. So now it's telling us to press left. We press left, then we press up. Now we drag this over here. We don't have to, but it's nicer and neat. I don't know, it's just better. Have it like this, do as I tell you. No, stick to, which is the right stick. Left, up. Drag it over here, oh no. This one is supposed to be here, yes. Now, this doesn't do anything. You can see, I'm moving my things. Oh. Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna enable the D-pad and we're gonna push up, down, left, right. I'm gonna move it here. And next we're gonna need to do all the buttons and that's the most tedious job. Okay. Now, if you have a different controller, my controller is sort of like the Xbox controller, but not quite like it. Anyhow, uh, you just take the button, which is the most similar to the Xbox controller, and we're gonna start with the back button, and we're gonna drag it over to here. And yeah, to create a new button, you just need to be in this button tab and press any button and then there's gonna... Then a button is gonna appear on the image. Now we're gonna do the start button. It appears here. The A button, which is labeled 1 in case on my controller. The B button, which is labeled 3. For me, you don't need to know which what it's labeled as, but just saying it. Uh, 
four, which is Y, and X. Now we're going to, ah uh, yeah, uh, your controller might support Xbox 360 triggers, mine doesn't, so if you can try by enabling this and then you're gonna get another layout which I haven't seen because my controller doesn't support it. And then you're gonna pass a button which is the right trigger, it does not matter in what order you do this. The left trigger. Nice. And now the bumpers. And you can just try to see, yeah, this is definitely this button which I just created, right? You can just try it on your controller. And the other bumper. Okay. Da 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 da. Da, 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 da. Yes, yes. Everything is awesome. Then you go here to finish and press close. And you're gonna get this thing that you go up. But when you get it, there's not gonna be any. Save. Oh, fast forward again. Okay, this is what you'll have. You'll have this. This is what you're gonna have. Nothing. Okay. This is my Minecraft layout. I'll s walk you through it later. Okay. Uh, first of all, the default WASD, which is walking backwards, forwards, strafing, it by default this one this one and then we're gonna press this wrench it and select W A S D O W S A D and Okay now we are going to select our camera which is going to be the mouse Yes, on the normal mouse, mouse normal. And now you can see that you can control your mouse just using your controller. Okay, edit this mouse settings. Press move together. That's just so this won't get. This is just basically controlling your sensitivity. I really do not like having a lot of sensitivity while using my mouse cursor. Uh, with the gamepad, so I'm gonna take it down to 7. I found that to be... It's extremely slow here, like extremely, extremely slow, but this is not going to be that slow when you're using it in Minecraft. This is just the speed of your cursor. So you can use your inventory with that speed. I found it to be a mix. Good speed, it's a good speed for using your inventory. And yeah, but when you we get back into Minecraft, we're gonna put our Minecraft sensitivity to extreme. And then it's just gonna be normal. So you have a slow sensitivity when you're using your inventory, but a fast sensitivity or normal sensitivity while you're playing Minecraft by default. We just close this. Uh, I use these to go through my through my through my hotbar. So I'm gonna 
let this one be up, scroll up, and this one to scroll down. So now when you press left on your D-pad, your hotbar hot bar is going to move left. Simple really. Okay. Uh, I find this to be good to press here to make it a toggle button and pressing left shift so now when you're playing Minecraft you can press this and now you're toggled crouch. Which is good. Okay. Uh, I found it to be good or something. I'm not bad words. To make this one, this trigger, uh, where were we? Yes, we were selecting our default mine button slash dig slash hit slash everything, which of course is the left right trigger. So this is mouse button one. Now when we, oh yeah. Uh, when you're navigating through the Minecraft, that's gonna be a bit tricky. I it took me some time to get used to it. That you're gonna use your right trigger to pick up items in your inventory and everything like that. But you'll get used to it eventually. Um, use items button two, which I prefer to have it as the left trigger. Um, I have not found a use for Y and B, but A is obviously jump, which is spacebar. Um, I found that using select to open your inventory is nice, so that's gonna be E. And this is going to be the start button, it's going to be escape. And, 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 what can we do more? Okay, what do we have to do? Of course, if you have a Xbox, this, this also works for Xbox. Rem remember that. But if you're using an Xbox controller, I would use this. I don't know, for like opening the multiplayer. Oh, we can do that. Let's use the down on the D pad. Press it. And let's assign it to tab so now we can. If we're on a multiplayer server, we can like. Hmm, yeah. Um, oh, my friend is online. Something like that. Um, is there anything else? Shift. Let's put this as shift. So we're gonna use this button, the bumper, the left bumper, to like I'm gonna take a half a stack. Yari yari. Okay. Now we're gonna click here and save as. Don't save my ass. My ass is okay. We've got a David. Yes. Okay. Now, do not close x -Padder. Okay, now let's open up Minecraft by using the left, no, right trigger. Because we are it to... Yeah. Again, I am using a cra cracked version of Minecraft. I did pay for Minecraft. But, I can no longer log into my account, so I think that I have the right to use a cracked account. No, a launcher. Let's launch Minecraft. I do not know how bad the lag is going to be now, because my computer really isn't all that great. Now, let's launch single player. Do you ignore the title of this map. Yeah, 
This is nice, we can jump. Uh, we can walk around. And see, uh, this really isn't all that fast here. But now when we open our inventory, it, it's a comfortable speed. It's super slow, but it's comfortable for using, like, for using a controller. And that is because I put my sensitivity here in controls up to 187%. So, yeah. Um, now, let's see. We did toggle our crouch. See? I just pressed up, and now the crouch is toggled. I'm now crouching. Hey, we should maybe assign a button which tells it to... Let's use Y. To go into theater mode. Oh, and yeah, you can edit this at any, any time. So... Why isn't it going to theater mode? Isn't it F5? F6, maybe. It's been so long since I played Minecraft. What button is it? F4. Ah, F4. No, F5. It was F5. Now, why aren't you doing it? Oh, we... Oh, silly me, I'm not using a... S I'm using the wrong button on the game controller. F5. Thank you. Look! It's useless you to never use Y, because you're gonna find something useful for it. I don't know what. Hello, Steve. You're gonna get a new Steve. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Uh, just have fun configuring this. I know I did have fun with it, because I'm like that. Um, if there is anything you would like to know, just ask in the description. No comment. Yes. And I will get back to you. Or you could send me an email. Which I'm not going to give you my email. This was a dumb thing to say. You're never getting my email. Dream on. Okay. But... Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.